Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create neomorphism as this one like sub button and this one sub button activated. Right now I'm going to create a new project so I'm going to go here new artboard and we are going to choose this one okay to create new morphism we can't use the white as background because to create the shadows the black and the white we need a background with some color so we are going to use the gray as our main color so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a rectangle with this rectangle we are going to remove the border and change the fill with the big color from screen or short, with shortcut i change it with the same color of the background then we are going to do the next step and that is we can see to create the dark shadow and the white shadow to do that we need to create two rectangles so for the dark one we are going to go to shadow set the color to black and change the size and the brown for the white one we need to duplicate it so we're going to copy we are going to paste for this one we are going to change the x and y position and it's easy to get with the negative number so if before for the black one we use 20 for this one we are going to minus 20 and change the color to white of the color of the shadow to white and increase the alpha key to make it more visible after that we are going to put them together and here we go we have the sub button to, you, to not create this every time when you have to use it you can create a component with that choose both of the rectangle and make a component now with the component we can duplicate it and create a copy with the copy we can do a lot of things like change the size we as before select those rectangle and we can change it to like to look like a circle so now that we created the sub button we are going to create the sub button cricket effect for the second one as before we do the same thing creating a rectangle but this time we remove the field and increase the size of the border to 10 now we are going to use the not the background blur but select the drop down and select the object blur and we are going to increase a little the amount 
As before, we need the dark one and the light one. So, we are going to do the same thing, copy and paste for the white one. So, we're going to bold and change color to white. Now, we are going to create the mask. Using the same frame, we create another copy, but this one without the object blur. And if you want, we, we can change the border to red so you can see it better. Now we are going to boost those three rectangles together. To differentiate them, we are going to name them. This is the dark one. And this is the white. And the white and the black color. So as you can see, the black one is in the bottom side and the white on the upper. For the cricket effect, this will be inverse. So we want to see the dark on the upper side and the white on the down okay so to do that we are going to select this one and increase this those value the width and the height the same thing for the black the height the width and the high. Now, the white one we're going to move with the arrow to this position so you can see right now the white is in this side and the black on this side. Select the three rectangle, select all of them, and mask with shape. And it is done. As before, you can create a component with that. So you can use it as many times as you want. Can Create a copy and with the copy you can do what you want. So this is the tutorial. If you like it, drop me a like. See you next time.